There has been an outpouring of support continuing to flow in for the royal family this morning in the wake of Princess Kate's announcement that she is being treated for cancer. So the princess's announcement also spurred a flood of apologies. Actress Blake Lively saying, <clears throat> excuse me, she is mortified about her joke about Kate Middleton's Photoshop fails. Lively posted an edited photo, this was about a week ago, promoting her new line of beverages. She's now deleted that post. Another well-known British political commentator also walked back some of his previous comments about Kate's public absences. In a post on Twitter, Owen Jones wrote, as someone who speculated on this without considering it could be a serious health condition, I'm very ashamed, to be honest. Yeah, I think a lot of people kind of feeling that way after that announcement came out. And if you watch the video, it was emotional. I had me tearing up when she was talking about her kids. Yeah. Um, she's only 42 years old, so she's still very young. The, the idea that people actually didn't think that could possibly be the case, and, and yeah, I don't think it, you know, the royal family, considering it was just gaining momentum, probably should have come out a little bit earlier. But I respect the fact that she's like, look, I've got you know three small kids. We're, you know, we got we're working through this ourselves. We're trying to get you know I'm trying to get healthy, and we really don't want to put it out there, and call attention to it. And so I mean, you have to think that there is the possibility of in that situation, yeah, that she has a serious illness. And I know we speculated about a lot of other things. Um, but, you know, Blake Lively, I, you know, it was like a funny for a second for me, but I honestly, I, I thought it was a little bit in bad taste. To say and promoting kind of herself, like her own product. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm still waiting for the apology from the Royal PR team. <laughs> No, they fumbled. Because th they did. This they did. would not have become what it was if these series of edited photos weren't released and then lied about. And mm -hmm. then it did become like, well, what is going on? Like, now suddenly I'm pulled into this, even though before I was cool when they were like, she's going through something, she won't be out till Easter. You're like, okay. But then they put out these pictures that make you start to say, like, is she okay? Like, what's really happening? They're royals. They're paid to be public figures in a way. Anyway, it's unfortunate. Also, the fact that she's dealing with cancer and they made her take the fall for that right. edited photo. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that at all either. It's bizarre. And it's to the point we're living in this time now where talk about Kate Middleton, speculation, conspiracy theories became so popular on the internet. People get clicks for it. They get views for it. So they just keep pushing it and peddling it because it's getting them attention. And so now here we are spun up in all of these you know, crazy theories and so much content out there. Because, unfortunately, people are watching it. And then it just yeah. builds and it becomes this whole other animal, this like whole other beast. Yeah. I agree. They flopped this, yeah. this rollout and just kind of broke the public's trust, I think, with that edited video is what it was, or the edited photo is what it was. Right. And, and it, it made me also think of Princess Diana, who was really trying her very best to say, I don't, please, paparazzi. Quit following me around. I deserve to have my own life, even though you know she married into a very public uh, monarchy. Uh, but she, you know, she, it, it really it made me think a lot about her and just her, you know what she had to deal with, and you know that she needed that kind of respect back then, which she unfortunately, um, you know, okay. did not. Well, get. They can give them peace if they want to and then there are the ones that they've chosen not to ask the press to stay away from and that's absolutely. a whole different story absolutely well we are wishing you the best kate the entire royal family and everyone dealing with cancer yeah